10 lists in 10 weeks. It's Jerem, 10 and 10. Presented by Tim Daly Nissan, part of the Tim Daly Auto Group, serving Utah since 1968. This week, I look at the top 10 traditions of the opponents. Number 10, Baylor. The Baylor line is a line composed of entirely new students. They all wear jerseys with a nickname, graduation year on the back. Students rush the field before each home game, unlike Utah after, and make a tunnel for the football team to run through at the start of each game. So we'll see this in October. There's a great picture of it. I love it. Are, are, is anybody in the line aware of how big this reunion of these two teams are? Eric Mattel, 1983. Well, then remember, somebody Rocks. said that, that finally these two teams are back playing each other. Finally. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. yeah. FB schedules yes. made it like... Like, it's one we of the most play. anticipated reunions. No. Like, what? No, Who? Sorry. What? Number nine, Arizona. Bear Down serves as the Wildcats' battle cry. In 1926, star John Salmon relayed the message, tell them to bear down, coach, to his teammates from his deathbed, and it's been the battle cry ever since. That's the thing everybody knows yes. about Arizona. It's, I, it's, one of, it's actually one of my favorites. I love the term bear down. I think it's really cool. No word on if the team actually won that game. <laughs> Number eight, Utah State. Written by Ebenezer Kirkham, the Scotsman song is sung immediately after the fight song and is accompanied by a synchronized arm movement. Some think it resembles milking a cow, others disagree. It celebrated a 100-year anniversary in 2018. We have somebody in the studio, or excuse me, in the uh, control room that could tell us whether or not it does resemble milking a cow. That would be our producer, Ben Megan. Number seven, South Florida. The green and gold guys painted and shirtless are at all home football and basketball games. Mel J. Bateman, not a fan, even make road game appearances. <laughs> in 2002, a second painted group of students called the Beef Studs emerged. Remember the Bulls. Today, the Beef Studs and Beef Babes are a staple at all home football and basketball games. I, uh, I feel like sh- I should I, say I, that I, like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> the Beef Babes. I, I, are we sh- I'm not sure we should be talking about this. Are we allowed to talk about this? The Beef Babes? I don't know. Number six, Virginia. Break the Rocks, a relatively new tradition since 2018, but after every win, head coach Bronco Mendenhall selects a player to smash a rock with a sledgehammer of the opponents to who's just beat. He couldn't, he couldn't, that's a cool idea. That why, why wasn't that implemented at BYU? Well, once you make three and a half million dollars, you start getting different ideas. <laughs> Number five, Georgia Southern. Freedom Flight is a tradition where a real live American bald eagle mascot named Freedom takes flight over the field at each home game. After the Freedom Flight, students can take their picture with the eagle named Freedom. That that's, is that's cool. That is very very cool. And the fact that his name is Free I'm assuming him, I don't know. It it is named him. Freedom. I'm not exactly sure. That is very cool. Yeah. I like that tradition. Number 4, Boise State, the Smurf turf, also known as the Blue, is one of the most recognizable fields in college football. It's not true that birds dive into it thinking it's water. That's a complete myth. How is it I thought that that's that is almost on every broadcast. So that's been a lie. That's a lie. Every single time they bring it up. That's a lie. Yeah, that's not true. Is that Wikipedia saying it's a lie? That's Boise State saying it's a lie. Or they just don't want to. They just don't want to admit don't that want birds admit. are dying on their field. Well, Boise State died on this field against BYU. <laughs> Number three, Utah. The crazy lady. That's her nickname. Is a super fan who does a wild choreographed dance at the end of the third quarter while the band plays her song. Her name's Terry Jackson. Terry Jackson. She made a list of the top 20 super fans by ESPN in 2010. Fun fact, Jackson took over for Bubbles, who was a lady who similarly danced but didn't renew her season tickets in 1998. Okay. I, after I, Ryan Kinoshiro missed the okay. kick against you. She's like, I'm out. Okay, honest question. I thought the crazy lady was no more. Oh, is not, she not, no not, not that she, no, I, I believe she's among, I believe I she is among us. One of my youth fans. Okay, no. I, and sa- I said, is the crazy lady still doing her thing? And he said, yes. Okay, I thought they stopped putting it on the video board, though. They, they, and may, maybe, and this was like a couple years ago. And oh, again, I don't pay attention, so I don't know. It's still a great tradition. Okay, so, because they used to put her, like, I think it was in between the third and the fourth quarter, they put her on the, the yep. video board. Yep. And somebody, I thought I they stopped listening. doing that. I don't know. But I, I haven't been to a Utah game. I, yes, again, I don't know, but yeah. yes. Okay. okay. Number two, USC. Traveler is a pure white horse that appears at every USC home game. The horse is ridden by a Trojan warrior, has been the mascot for decades. USC's drum major also goes out to midfield and stabs a sword into the field. I love Traveler. Yes, it's one of the great things of college football. The pageantry, that's one of the great ones. And the number one tradition of BYU opponent, Washington State. The Cougars' most well-known tradition is how the old, the flag, Old Crimson, has been flown at 257 straight college game days. That's since 03. Old Crimson even has its own Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts. 
When game day came here in 09, I interviewed the flag bearer of Old Crimson. Really? It was cool. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. And those are the top 10 traditions of the opponent.